Rise and shine, America. It's 9 a.m. on April 12, 2018. My name is John Tippetts, and I'm here to talk about the news that matters most to you. Today, we're going to talk about America's war on drugs, how it compares to prohibition, and attempt to answer the question, why hasn't the U.S. government come to the same conclusion on the war on drugs that it did for prohibition? First, let's take a look at prohibition. Nicknamed the Noble Experiment, Prohibition was brought on by a social and political movement to ban the sale, production, and transportation of alcohol. Social groups such as the Women's Christian Temperance Movement and the Protestants believed that the government should outlaw alcohol for the betterment of public health. However noble this may sound, many believe that there were ulterior motives at work behind the scenes. Prior to 1920 and the passing of Prohibition, there were many groups that felt that alcohol should remain legal, including the German and Italian immigrants. With America's entrance into the First World War in 1917, the German and other immigrants were being marginalized by the general public. Some historians believe that prohibition was actually used as a tool to oppress immigrants in the early 20th century. Many of these immigrants worked in the American alcohol industry, and prohibition would strike a blow against immigrants in general. The supporters of prohibition, called dries, portrayed alcohol as the cause of crime, domestic abuse, and all the things that were ailing the American society. In reality, crime rates went up during Prohibition. This graph illustrates crime in the years prior, during, and after Prohibition. Prohibition created opportunities for organized crime to grow and flourish. One of the most notorious gangsters of this time was Al Capone. Capone saw himself as a businessman, a man of the people. However, in reality, he was a cutthroat gangster that often used violence or the threat of violence to drive his business empire. Prohibition made its way into popular music of the time and helped communicate public opinion. Songs such as the one playing in the background called Little Brown Jug have lyrics such as My wife and I live alone In a little log hut we call our own She loves gin and I love rum I tell you what, we're lots of fun. Ha ha ha, you and me. Little brown jug, don't I love thee. You see, during Prohibition, most people weren't actually against alcohol. It had been legal prior to 1920, and it didn't have the same stigma as other illegal activities. Just to quickly recap, Prohibition was described as a public health initiative, but was used to oppress a minority. It caused a rise in crime, and ultimately lost favor in public opinion. Now let's take a look at the war on drugs. This is another prohibition type of law, which prohibits the use of narcotics. And just as with prohibition, it's being championed as a public health initiative. The war on drugs was launched under the Nixon campaign and has had a lot of support from the conservative right for being a moral choice. However, just as with prohibition, there are some underlying ulterior motives. During a recently released interview, John Ehrlichman, the former domestic policy chief to Richard Nixon, stated, the Nixon campaign in 1968 and the Nixon White House after that had two enemies, the anti-war left and black people. He went on to say, we knew we couldn't make it illegal to oppose the war or to be black, but getting the public to associate the hippies with marijuana and the blacks with heroin and then criminalizing both heavily, we could disrupt those communities. We could arrest their leaders, raid their homes, break up their meetings, and vilify them night after night on the news. He went on to say, did we know that we were lying about the drugs? And his reply was, of course we did. This shocking confession from a top White House staffer cast new light on the war on drugs. Instead of being a moral or public health issue, as it was billed to be, it was a mechanism to demonize the political left, oppress black people, and win the White House. The illegal drug trade is a very lucrative business. Making narcotics illegal has provided an opportunity, much like prohibition, and allowed for men like Pablo Escobar to build an empire that dwarfs that of Al Capone. Escobar was a bloodthirsty tyrant that, just like Capone, thought of himself as a businessman and a man of the people. Before his death, Pablo Escobar was responsible for an all-out war with the Colombian government and the American DEA. Even after the death of Pablo Escobar, the world has seen an unprecedented number of murders and violent crime related to the drug trade. Although there is still a stigma associated with drug use, public sentiment has begun to change. There's evidence of this in popular music, such as Because I Got High by Afro Man and many others. Some states are beginning to pass laws allowing for the recreational use of marijuana. And I think that this is a trend that will continue. The United States is nearing 50 years fighting the war on drugs. 
and there are more drugs on the street and at a cheaper price than ever before. The war on drugs has failed. The parallels between the war on drugs and prohibition are virtually endless. So why hasn't the U.S. government come to the same conclusion on the war on drugs as it did for prohibition? The list of possible answers is unpleasant and includes drug enforcement is a multi-billion dollar industry that the government doesn't know how to end. Federal and state prisons house more than two million inmates, half of which are incarcerated for nonviolent drug crimes. Releasing them would eliminate jobs and billions of dollars from the U.S. economy. And the government doesn't know how to handle the loss. And finally, the government actually wants to oppress black people and uses the war on drugs as a tool to do that. Only time will tell how this question gets answered. But I hope this report has caused you to think about the world we live in. Have a great day, everybody. This is John Tippett's signing off. La 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 la